Well, hey everybody and welcome back to It's Only Food with Chef John Polite. Today, we are making cheesy buffalo cauliflower crostini. Do not want to miss this one. All right, well, welcome back to It's Only Food with Chef John Polite. If this is your first time joining us today, or you're just on the internet searching around and found us, please hit that subscribe button right there, and then click the bell symbol so you can be notified each time we upload new content. All right, like I said, we are making some buffalo cauliflower crostinis, and it's going to be real quick, real simple. If you like buffalo chicken, you're going to love this recipe. It's a vegan version of it, and it's, it's really good. I have tried it many times, and I figured, what the heck, I'll do a show about it. Real simple, three ingredients. Let's get to it right back here in the kitchen. All right, well, the first thing you want to do is get your cauliflower all chopped up. So I'm going to core this up. It's a pretty big, big size uh, cauliflower here. Yeah, these are normally what you do for florets, but remember, we're going to be putting it on garlic bread little bite-sized pieces of garlic bread so we're even going to want to make this even smaller and then we're going to put it in a bowl with the seasonings and stuff and mix it up but this is the size that i'm going to go for so here we go i'm going to chop this up whoa we got a lot all over the place hope the dog likes cauliflower get all the stem pieces out of there because they are kind of tough and we just want the florets. I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and then I'll show you the finished product. Okay, we got our cauliflower. You can see I got it pretty small little florets and these will be perfect for on top of the garlic toast that we're going to do next. Yeah, a lot of recipes call for when it comes to buffalo is to add butter and a little garlic powder, onion powder, stuff like that, but I have a combination of both. I have a shop on Etsy and my own website for It's Only Food. Uh, we have our own seasonings here. And this is a butter garlic one. So I'm just going to go ahead and put about a teaspoon of butter garlic seasoning in with this recipe. I'll also put a card right here for a link to that uh, shop online. It's only food.biz. You can go ahead and check out all my seasonings. Then I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description box as well. But check it out. We've got some good products. I got about a inch left in this bottle of Baby Ray's, Sweet Baby Ray's sauce, so I'm just going to put that right on in there. Coat it pretty good. You want to get it all coated. About a teaspoon of this fantastic butter garlic seasoning that I've got. We're just going to put that right on there. This is one of my biggest sellers, by the way, along with my steak and chop. And we're just going to mix this all up. Coat it really well. So all that cauliflower is covered with the buffalo sauce. All right, I have the oven preheated to 425. All right, got our sheet pan right here. The oven is preheated to 425. Take our cauliflower that we have seasoned with the buffalo sauce and the garlic seasoning. We're just going to go ahead and throw this in the preheated oven for about 15 minutes. All right, we got our garlic toast. I bought this at the store. It just comes in the foil, find it in the freezer section. Uh, it's already seasoned with the garlic and some herbs on there, but I'm just basically going to just cut nice little bite-sized pieces of garlic bread, but I want to do one other thing now is I want to cut a little edge on this. I just want to cut it flat so it sits flat so it's not rocking. See how that rocks? So I'm just going to take each piece that I do and just trim it down so it's got a flat edge and it won't rock. Now I'm just going to pre-cook these probably for 10 minutes just because I want to get them done because if we just put the cauliflower and the cheese on there the cheese will melt and everything will be soggy so I want to have these done a little bit because all we're going to do after we've added the uh, cooked cauliflower we're going to add some cheese to the top and let that melt and that way the timing and the cooking time will be perfect. Alright, 
the bread is done. It is crispy, it's not soggy, because remember all we're gonna do now is add the buffalo cauliflower on top and then hit it with some cheese, melt the cheese, and it'll be done. So we don't wanna add the cauliflower and everything on it together with the cheese on the frozen bread because then it would be, the cheese would melt and everything else would be uncooked. So let's get the cauliflower out of the oven. All right, I'm just gonna put a little bit of the cauliflower on each one as I'm breathing in the vinegar-like fumes here. <coughs> oh, excuse me. The cat has found the piece of cauliflower that I dropped and he is now playing with it on the floor. It's gotta be one of the funniest things I've seen. Oops, I can get these back on here. Another reason you want to get that edge cut off of your bread is because you want it to be stable, like this one's all tilted and it's going to slide off. So, all right, now I have some mozzarella cheese. I'm just going to put a little bit on each one. We're going to let this melt. Back into the oven. All right, we're just gonna let that cheese melt in the oven about two minutes, and we're gonna pull it out of the oven, plate it up, and then take a lot of pictures of it for social media and for your viewing pleasure. Put it on our timeline. Put a beautiful, put a beautiful musical score underneath those pictures, and then we're gonna say goodbye. So don't go anywhere. for joining us today. We made some fantastic cheesy buffalo cauliflower crostini. I hope you give it a try. It was really, really good. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. Leave a comment below. Let me know how you're doing and what you think of this channel. Hit that thumbs up button and then share this channel and this video with everyone you know. You have a great day. Stay safe and we'll see you next time right here on It's Only Food with Chef John Polite. Bye-bye.